Hi, in this video we are going to discuss on Securite Patch Management Server installation. We know that Securite Patch Management Server will enable us to download the Microsoft Windows patches and few selected application patches centrally at one location and from there we can distribute the required systems. For that, first we need to install the Patch Management Server and to do that, just log into EPS console, go to Admin Settings Server Patch Management you can see an option add new patch server uh, depending your operating system uh, download the required uh, setup file for that as my operating system is 64 bit i'm downloading the pm setup file that is an msi file i'm downloading that for a 64 bit operating system it's in progress now once i get the file i can run that uh, setup file in one of the machine that machine can be eps server or any machine in the network so let's wait till uh, the file got completed download yes I got the file I'm running that now okay now I got the patch management installation wizard and I am agreeing with the terms and condition and going with that and I can see the patch content location you can change it uh, if required if you are uh, uh, reinstalling then you can import the patch data if you are mentioning any proxy you can mention that then MySQL uh, is required here as it is the uh, core component for DB management, database management. Select the uh, zip file that you downloaded uh, from the below location. I already browsed it, click on, click on next. Then uh, you can see the uh, communication port 8963. This is the default port for MySQL communication. Uh, set a password and click on next. Then upstream patch server that we can select, we have two options. Either you can go for uh, Microsoft or organization patch server. I selected Microsoft. Then you can select the uh, computer name or IP address as the source and go ahead with the installation. So now installation is in progress. Just wait till that installation process finished there. Right. Now installation completed successfully. Now we need to add the new patch server over uh, EPS console. Just mention the server name, server IP and port number with EPS server and add it over here. It will take few seconds. Yes, Windows patch server added successfully. Now we need to mention the patch synchronization filter setting do that go to next tab that is configure patch server we can see the uh, server that we enable with the 6201 port number you can enable automatic download you can set the patch level you can set internet uh, setting there uh, if you are using proxy mention that patch synchronization setting that you can mention now we have set a Microsoft server over here uh, you can even set a WSUS server or any local secret patch server at what frequency you want to enable it uh, when you want to enable the patch synchronization that you can set over here and then you can go for filters in filters what kind of patches you want to download that you can mention you can go for uh, products like uh, video line adobe photoshop uh, categories then language click on apply and the setting will get saved over here and then we can go to a start patch synchronization just click on that so now patch synchronization started successfully now you can go to a particular policy there and in the policy you can mention that patch server that you have enabled yes that you can save over here and even you can enable the patch scan setting in the schedule setting go to patch scan mention the frequency uh, set the scan priority set the uh, patch install setting level like if an uh, if a patch level uh, with uh, moderate if you want to install automatically you can go go to that and you can do that yes yes we are mentioning that once again and save it thank you